Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside Game Daily for Thursday! That's right, it's Thursday! Remember way back in the summer of 2016 when the entire world lost its mind over Pokemon Go, including right. me! You could barely go to a public square without bumping into people on their cell phones trying to catch something good, only to get another rat. Oh, I hated Ratatata. So I'll trade you a Dingle Bat for a Corn Bundle! I don't know if you're kidding with me or not, Bruce. <laughs> Get used to saying more funny sounding words because Niantic, the developer that made Pokemon Go, recently showed off ANOTHER mobile game uh -huh. based on Harry Potter. <laughs> Man, it's got some big plans for that franchise. Uh, I guess Niantic is putting the two billion they made off of Pokemon Go to good use. Yeah, unfortunately, this mobile game won't allow you to take a dump in a hallway and cast a magic spell to make it go away. Or will it? It might! There's only one way to find out! Okay, all right. <laughs> Tell us, JK! Waving your phone at it and then you drop it. <laughs> Such features weren't revealed in the gameplay preview we saw, but it looks pretty cool. So maybe we'll have another worldwide fad on our hands. Mm -hmm. uh, we can get right into what we know, though. The game is called Wizards Unite! Yeah! Unlike Pokemon Go, this one's a bit of a mystery game. It's got an overarching puzzle that you're trying to solve, a bit of a narrative there. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery game that involves you walking around your neighborhood in a $22 Halloween costume anyway, <laughs> watching AR overlays instead of oncoming traffic. Oh, that's not a good... That's... Be careful. Okay. Naturally, Wizards Unite will use the same tech that Pokemon Go did, as well as a precursor game, Ingress. Anyone? Hello? Played that Lawrence a played bit. Ingress, and he, yeah. Yeah, he was the one that told me that it was the precursor to Pokemon Go. Oh. And I believed him. Cue the warnings of please don't play this while driving. Definitely play it while shouting spells at your friends in the Culver City Westfield Mall food court. We'd love to see that. <laughs> yeah. We're near it, so we'd love to see if you're doing that. Your ass kicked. <laughs> so anyway, this is how it plays. First you create an avatar, uh -huh. then you get decked out in your witch or wizard clothes. In real life. Optional. <laughs> I think Spencer sells them now. I don't know. Of course, you also pick your Hogwarts house uh -huh. and your very own wand. Gryffindor, uh, Dragonheart, right? Anyway, but those can also be changed later, so that's nice. <laughs> so if you pick Slytherin to be all emo and cool, you're not, by the way. You can always change houses later once you get out of your early teens and realize that you got bills to pay and that 21 pilots kind of suck. We got different professions in the game. Professors, magizoologists, nice. and aurors. Magizoologists, just like Newt's commander! <laughs> exactly. Each of the classes have their own abilities. Again, you can change those later, too, so don't get paralyzed by choice. What's that spell called? Axio? Paral Paralysius. Crucio. Uh oh, Crippleitis. Uh, I guess the question, though, here is, Lawrence, what does my wand type say about me? <laughs> I think you're kind of a uh, curvy. You're stern. You're you're rigid. Uh, Are you talking about his dick? A yeah. little bit. Anyway, buy this one. It costs $59.99. Uh, as for the game itself, it draws from both the Harry Potter universe and the Fantastic Beast movies as well. Good, I was worried. <laughs> the game actually takes place after the events of the last Harry Potter book, Deathly Hollows. So you're a member of a group called the Statue of Secrecy Task Force. Whoa! Rolls right up the tongue and you're trying to discover what's behind a mystery called the calamity oh the calamity <laughs> I'm very I'm very bastion of them thank you thank you for the reference yeah yeah anyway this mysterious calamity has caused various things from the wizarding world artifacts creatures and people to appear in the muggle world no! that the rest of us live in oh, oh my god yes. they're here with us <laughs> <laughs> like Pokemon Go you can explore the real world but overlaying that are special locations like inns and greenhouses where you can eat food to gain energy and gathering ingredients to make potions and probably sit there and put five dollars in to pay, you know, for more potions. Sure, sure. And uh, very importantly, there are magical traces. Oh. That magic surrounds items called foundables, All right. which are artifacts from other worlds that have ended up in our world. Oh, oh, I'm in the real world! That's right! Oh. Lawrence, tell them what their your job is. You gotta send them back. Send all those foundables back to found... <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, by doing so, you learn unique rewards, so you're kind of like a little magical garbage man. Whoa! But it's it's cool when it's magical, kind of uh, like taking a shit in the hallway. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Also kind of like Pokestops, ends and greenhouses will have cooldown periods until more supplies are available. Yep. Or you can, guess what? Buy them with real money. What a surprise. Yeah, yeah. shocking. Yeah. But Mary Casey, executive director of product for WB Games San Francisco, told CNET that their goal is to let people play through the game without paying or hitting microtransaction walls. And this is where I should insert that we are a sister company to WB. We are now part of the huge conglomerate yeah. of companies. This is not a commercial. Mm -hmm. I'm just excited about the game. <laughs> yeah. And, and if you actually want to know how crazy corporate takeovers are, we didn't know or remember yeah. that we were owned <laughs> by the same company that owns WB uh. until we started filming this episode. Well, this whole magical thing sounds like a very long process where you figure out this whole calamity thing it is all about spanning several updates, basically. <laughs> Zinat quoted Jonathan Knight, studio head of W Games, uh, San Francisco, who said that it will be a deep role-playing forever game. Oh boy. <laughs> with the calamity forming a multi-year story arc. Of course. So Niantic is definitely in this one for the long haul. Lawrence, tell them about the portmanteaus. I was yawning. No. No, that's not good. <laughs> no, I have to open my mouth to absorb magical energies. Oh, <gasps> There's a nip in his mouth! This okay. game also has special locations called portmanteaus. You can unlock those to reveal port keys. Remember those? Yeah, I, I do. do. Uh, yes. Which take you to iconic locations you might remember from the books or the movies. I don't know what that's gonna look like, though. You go to the mall, and then you tap a thing. Uh, then you run into a pillar. 
Yeah. yeah. J.K. Rowling was always good at coming up with like fake, funny-sounding words. These are real words, though. That's not what a portmanteau is. Right. That's a portmanteau. Yeah. Whatever. What is a portmanteau? It's a combination of two words. Right. So like motor and hotel becomes motel. Yep. Oh. So I guess we're getting away from that. We're just co-opting muggle words. Those are our words. <laughs> Of course, there are creatures in Dark Wizards Battle. Yes. Those wizards especially look pretty awesome when overlaid in the real world. What's the spell for when you disarm someone? Autumn? It's like Spelliarmus. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh. unsure of how much of a Harry Potter fan Bruce really is because he Huge. has a goddamn wand on his desk that he refused to bring into this episode. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that wand. Yeah, such a big fan. Combat involves you casting spells, which has you tracing a glyph on your screen, which is pretty cool. You can yeah, pretend fun. like your finger's a little wand. Oh, what if they saw a little wand attachment that you dibble on your finger and you're like, ha, 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 ha. that'd be cool. Can I make it look like a boner? That wouldn't be cool. Okay. You can. So if you have friends, first of all, congratulations. We're all very impressed. But second of all, the game has multiplayer activities, so you can team up with your buddies to attack fortresses on the map. Yeah, it sounds like gym battles in Pokemon Go. Yeah. Hmm, maybe some similarities here. Oh, look who's here. Uh oh. It's Billy Iron Hell. Oh, there's another one. Look Where'd at this that? one come from. Is that serious black too? Wow, I'm such a unique wizard. I Omar, have the same you had a serious black too? We don't have a release date for the Harry Potter game. Soon, please. But they have said that it's coming out for iOS and Android sometime this year. I'm betting summer, because mm -hmm. that's when Pokemon Go came. That's when kids are out of school and the weather's either really nice or demonically hot, yep. either which side of the country you live on, or world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also said that it will work on a variety of devices, not just the newest stuff, but didn't go into more detail. Yeah, we can't wait to try it out on my iPhone 3. That's one one for Matt Peak. Uh, anyway, we've been hearing about this game for a while as Niantic tries to duplicate the $2 billion success it had with Pokemon Go. It also looks like they're trying to avoid the pitfalls of Pokemon Go, right, Lawrence? We all remember summer of 2016. What a wild and heady couple of weeks do. that was. Hold on, yeah. I'm taking the memory. Yeah, put it in the pensive. Yeah, it looks like a bowl of cum. Put it in the pensive. Yeah. So Pokemon Go had infrastructure issues to start. Too many people were trying to play it, had connectivity issues. And then after they solved that, there was just kind of a blank of time where there was no content because yeah. they didn't expect it to blow up in popularity like it did. So it kind of lost a bunch of players. A lot of those came back when you had friend systems and, and battle. And I didn't come back. Like lost Bruce. So yeah, initially all you could do is catch Pokemons and battle gyms. Uh, there were, I said Pokemons. How embarrassing like for you. <laughs> yeah. So with this Harry Potter game, it looks like they're launching the game with a beefier content slate to start, not to mention giving people canon story beats post Harry Potter series that don't come packaged as a musical. <laughs> Musicals oh. are lame and dumb. Yeah. They're not, except because Cursed Child I'd like to go see. And as a brand, keep in mind Harry Potter is one of the few that can rival Pokemon, which is worth an estimated $92 billion. Holy sh**. And you add up all the video game cards, manga, and anime revenue. Pikachu uses monetized audience. It's super effective. Harry Potter isn't quite that huge, but it's still Harry Potter. Yeah. It's estimated to be worth $25 billion when you add up all the money from the books, the movies, the merchandise. Make it into a free to play game of microtransactions is a no brainer. And while there was another mobile Harry Potter game, Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, lame. that was yeah. last year. Lame. This game apparently is gonna take advantage of the AR technology. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty much in the same way Pokemon did. So if you like Pokemon, and you like wizards, maybe this game's for you. That's about all we know about the game at this point, but it looks promising so far. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Remember, this was not a commercial. Hell no. I just really love Harry Potter, and so does Autumn, who's editing the episode. If I was <laughs> doing this as an ad, would I say that you could use this to finger a pretty hot chick from Slytherin? I don't think it would do much, though. Is Autumn in Slytherin? Autumn. Stop talking to me. <laughs> Ask the assesis. <laughs> Oh, I've always wanted to do that. Uh, anyway, Bruce is humping to the Halo theme because we want you to be strapping on your robot pants. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, because the day has finally arrived. The Halo Master Chief Collection is coming to Steam. Happy birthday, Adam. I, oh, okay. You did it, buddy. I it's played 